Welcome to the Asian American Spotlight. This week I'd like to highlight a graphic novel which I only recently read about two months ago, but it's actually been out since 2006, and I really wish I read it back then because it would have meant a lot to me, but I guess it still means a lot to me now, so it doesn't really matter. But it is the recipient of the Michael Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature, and it is called American Born Chinese, or in my case, Canadian Born Chinese. So being an Asian American, we're not quite Asian because we didn't grow up in Asia. And we're not quite American or Canadian because we don't have like a dozen generations of ancestry here. We are our own thing. And we've been really good at assimilating into all these other cultures because they're super cool as well. But we all go through a very specific set of struggles that are never shown in media. So this is the first time that ever I've ever come across anything that shows... Oh, I mean, that I can relate to on such a deep level. And I was walking WonderCon, the floor on WonderCon with some friends, and I had one friend who had seen this book, and she was like, hey, check out that graphic novel, it's really cool. And so I bought it, and I opened it, and I couldn't put it down, so I finished it while we were still walking the floor. And it is so good, I cannot stress how amazing this is. Yeah, American Born Chinese. This was written by Gene Yang, and he also writes for DC and Marvel, I believe. So you've probably read, you might have read some of his stuff already. Please follow him on Twitter. I'll put his handle at the at the description thing and say hi to him for me. Say hi to him from me. I really like it when people do that. Thank you. Um, what else? Yeah, this is such a cool thing. It it is the only thing that I've ever seen. Again, that relates to my childhood. I relate to this on such a deep level. I think anyone that is an Asian American or Canadian will be able to relate to this. If you are highly recommended, if you have any Asian American friends or Asian Canadian friends and you don't know how to get them for their birthday or, you know, a random gift or something, highly recommended. It is so good. I don't want to make any to say any spoilers, but it it blends the East and the West really well together. And it Basically, like, I've been through a lot of these situations in my childhood. So, this. If I've ever wanted to explain it, this. Yeah, there it is. So, the graphic novel again is American Born Chinese by Jin Yang. If you've read it before, or if you do read it, please leave a comment. Leave your reviews in the comments so I can read it. I'd love to hear what you think. If you like this video and you want more like it, I mean, I'm still going to do it. Please like it, share it, and leave your comments so I know what you're thinking. And um, what else? And yeah, that's it. I'm leaving for the airport in 30 minutes, so I really should start packing. I'm going to England. I'm posting this video on Friday, though. So if you're seeing this and you're in Blackpool, England, I've probably already seen you today. Or I'll, or I'll see you later, depending on the time zones. So hello again, or hello soon, or I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and for everyone else, I'll see you next week. Um, I'll have another Asian American spotlight for you then. So yeah, have a wonderful week.